Hi everybody, my name is Ron Canner and you're watching Out of Zion on God TV. And for the next couple episodes, we're gonna watch prophecy come alive. I'm in Zichron Yaakov and I'm walking on what's called the Midrachov, the walking street. And as you look around at this area that's designed to look like a French town, it's actually one of Israel's first cities and its history is rich as well as quite turbulent. Now, international tourists or pilgrims, they rarely come to Zichron Yaakov, but I can tell you that every Saturday, this place is filled with locals, with Israelis, who come here for a cup of coffee or a nice meal with their family. Zichron Yaakov wasn't always such a lovely city. In fact, in 1882, a hundred Romanian Jews came here to resettle it. It was a bit harder than they thought. Many of them died of malaria as the swamplands were filled with infested mosquitoes. Others went back to Romania, while some literally starved because they could not succeed as farmers. French philanthropist and winemaker Edmond de Rothschild, he took an interest in the failing community. He was convinced that the issue was not the soil, but the crop. He felt that grapes could thrive here. So he takes over the community, pours funds into it, changes the name to Zichon Yaakov, which means the memory of Jacob, his father, and he builds the synagogue right behind me called Ohel Yaakov, the tent of Jacob. And it's still a functioning synagogue today. In fact, we just witnessed a bar mitzvah here. So Rothschild turns to Romanian immigrant Mikhail Chemiletsky to oversee his affairs here. And Chemiletsky starts a winery called Carmel Mizrahi. But after just a few years in 1892, bacteria was eating all of the crops, all of the vineyards, and it looked like it would be a total failure just like the first Romanian immigrants but seedlings were brought in from the United States that could resist the bacteria, and as they say, the rest is history. Today, Carmel Winery is Israel's largest winery and exports wine to over 40 countries. And a relative of the founder, Chemolitsky, that worked for Rothschild, Jonathan Tishby started Tishby Winery in 1984, and it's now Israel's sixth largest winery, making over one million bottles of wine per year. Carmel Winery is still housed in this 120-year-old building right behind me. Now Rothschild is gone, but the words of the prophet Amos live on in Zichron Yaakov. Today you can see all of these beautiful quirky shops as well as cafes and restaurants. In fact, on the mountainside, we have several boutique hotels that overlook the Mediterranean Sea, further providing proof that according to the prophets, this area has been resettled by the Jewish people. Now, the next time you're in Israel, tell your tour guide that you want to spend a morning or an afternoon in the historic city of Zichron Yaakov. Make sure you go to God.tv so you never miss an episode, and you can always find me at roncantor.com. Shalom from Zichron Yaakov. Please follow Ron on Twitter and Facebook at Ron S. Cantor to find out more about Ron and his ministry. For more information on God TV and the Out of Zion programs, or to view these programs again, go to God.tv forward slash Zion. Shalom everybody, I'm Ron Kanner, the Regional Director for God TV in Israel. And I gotta tell you something, I moved to Israel almost 20 years ago with one goal in mind, to reach my people with the good news of Yeshua the Messiah. And not long ago, we birthed something called Shalanu.tv. Because of you, because of the gifts of God TV partners, Shalanu.tv, a, a, a cooperative ministry with many Israeli ministries and Arab ministries, Shalanu TV became the first Hebrew-speaking 
messianic cable channel broadcasting the good news of Yeshua to the nation. Now, as you probably know, we were taken off the air a few months after that. And within three hours, we were back up on the internet, on Facebook, on YouTube. We are not giving up and we're not backing down. We love the Jewish people. As I said, I moved here because of this burning love inside of me for them to know our Messiah. In fact, we call Shalano Shalano because it means ours. And Yeshua, who echad me etanu, he is one of ours. He came from this nation. So I want to thank you during this 25th anniversary for birthing Shalano TV. And I want to encourage you to continue to pray, continue to support Shalano TV, because as we reach the Jewish people with their Messiah, with, with their Yeshua, according to Paul, that's going to release a greater riches revival all throughout the world. That's in Romans 11, verse 12 and verse 15. When the Jewish people who originally rejected Yeshua accept him, it's going to release revival. So friends, here we are 25 years into it. We're not giving up. We're moving forward and you are reaching the Jewish people with the good news of Yeshua and not just the Jewish people. You are reaching people all throughout the world. God bless you on this 25th anniversary for God TV. Shalom.